I was born outside of Kingsway in 1926 and in, in the pre Depression in 1939, no, 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 1929, we moved to North Dakota and Minnesota. There was a death in our family, in my mother's family, and we came back in 1935. So I have lived here all that time since then. Okay. I was in fifth grade when we came back. Okay. My husband and I were married in 1944, which is wartime. And we decided we wanted to start a business here in Kingsley that nobody had because I was always coming home to visit. Mm -hmm. I was working in Sioux Falls. And so we talked to an elderly man and he said, I think it might work, you won't get real rich, but you probably have enough t to survive. And we started a dry cleaning on a what they call a GI loan because we'd spent time in the service and you were allowed to borrow so much money. Okay. And we borrowed $4,500 and that gave us our first bunch of machinery. Wow. And then we just celebrated 62 years of business this spring. And he died in 1975 and I was a school teacher prior to this time. And so I didn't really want to go back and I had just invested quite a bit of money in the dry cleaning. So it was the help of my children. Why? We continued with the business. Now through this time you've gone through wash and wears. Everything was wash and wear. So then we added on, we took down the old building which had been brought in from corn. Now they brought those buildings in from corn in the winter time and they put poles underneath the buildings, long poles, and the horses could pull them then on the ice. And that's how they moved the buildings from Corn. And Corn was the town. Corn was Kingsley. the original town. Okay. And then Corn was moved up to Kingsley. All the buildings, and there was a man here that had money and had a lot of land in Garfield Township, and so they decided to name the name Kingsley after him. Um, so actually, the town started down here at Corn, and that's where the mill was. And the mill was down there. There's a, a creek on the outside of town there, ways. And they dammed that up and had a mill. And the mill ground the flour. And that's why those big stones at the park are there. It says the mill stones. Oh, right. They, they go together and they um, break up the wheat and make flour. And the men would bring in the wheat from the fields and so forth. And they would get flour back in return, so otherwise it'd have something to cook with. So anyhow, then corn was moved, the, the town, in the wintertime, up to the present side of Kingsley, because also the railroad had a disagreement with the town of corn, and so they wouldn't come clear to corn, they, the railroad went through up there at Kingsley, and so the town was moved up there. Okay. Okay, the building that we had then was an old building, and um, so we had we decided that as we were going along in our business, why we had to get a better building. Mm -hmm. So we rebuilt in 1959 and put up a, a steel building and a nice front and cement foundation and so forth. And through the years, why dry cleaning has gone up and down. Right now, it's starting to come up again. There's a lot of silks on the market. There's a lot of women that don't like to breast clothes. And, mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's more wools coming back into the market. And uh, also formals can be done. And I rent tuxedos and I can rent them cheaper than, I can, than they can in Sioux City. Now it's just because I don't take such a markup on them. 